Well, now it's time to look at the juice and the yeast. That wonderful yeast that you chose, well, this is how we grow it up. First of all, Chris is going to open up the spigot in the side of the tank, and he's now allowing that, uh, that clear juice, as you can see it is very clear, to run into the white barrel, where the yeast culture is becoming acclimatized to that, to that, that, that atmosphere, if you will, which, which we call an atmosphere, which is a, a sugary, juicy um, atmosphere. So the yeast is going to consume that sugar and produce alcohol, heat, and carbon dioxide. In fact, that's what the bubbles are on top. Those are CO2 bubbles. So now that the yeast is, is grown up, it's ready to rock and roll, we've got to add it into the tank. So how do we do that? Through hoses. You can see here Chris is hooking up a hose to the bottom of the tank. That's how we move wine around in a winery, through a series of hoses and uh, very, very uh, expensive pumps. Opens up the valve, and now he's going to start drawing the yeast culture out of the white barrel and pump it into the tank. So he's turned on the, the pump. There he is. He's starting to draw it down. It's going through, yep, through that series of hoses, through that very expensive pump, very gentle pump, and pumping it in. In fact, if you look at the white barrel right now, you'll see the liquid dropping. And what that is is the hose drawing up the yeast culture. So Chris, give that uh, barrel a bit of a tip so we can have a look inside. Yep, there we go. There is uh, the yeast culture uh, being drawn up. I know it looks a little disgusting, but what it is is just uh, pure yeast starting to ferment. There it is. We've got to get the last few drops coming up. We need all those yeasts. Now, at this point, what do we have to do? Well, we have to do a little bit more mixing. So where's Chris? Okay, look up. Look way up. Up. There's Chris at the top of the, the uh, tank. Yes, those are tall tanks. About 12,000 liters goes in there. Chris is now dropping down a line so he can draw the hose up to the top. Now, why would we draw a hose up? Well, let's go to the top of the tank to see. So we'll climb the spiral staircase to go to the top of the tanks. Oh, there's a computer just going by. Going around and around. And around. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Okay, hang on. Oh, let's go to the top of the tank. Okay, there we are. And there is that hose. Chris has already pulled it up. He's got it into the top of the tank. And what's happening here? We are now mixing up the tank uh, so we can get that yeast evenly distributed so it can do its work.